Hi, you too. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another AliExpress haul. Yes. Oh my God. I'm going crazy with AliExpress. I will show you everything I got today. Plus, I will put links down below in the description. And as always, I want to say that the prices might change. I could have gotten it for one price. You might get it for another price. Plus, for those of you who are new, um... There is shipping on AliExpress to avoid too much shipping. Try to buy stuff from the same seller because most of the time when you go to check out and you have more than one, one item from the same seller, the shipping will be reduced or it disappears. <laughs> so that's a tip from me to you. Now let's jump right in and show you um, what I got. The very first thing is a die. Oh no. I made them cricket. <laughs> this was $1.32. And it's pretty trees. I don't know. I like them except for this end part. But I think if I would paper piece it, it would look different. I really um, do like how they are all different. Plus, and that I didn't see. Let me check it out. Yeah. Funny. This tree does not have a stamp. Can you see that? Do you call it stem? I think so. It doesn't have one. It's just hanging there in the air. Can you see that? It's just in the air. Oh, well, I guess I could just cut off and, you know, like, or I could put a little stem in there. But it's still doable for what? $1.32. I think it's cool. Um, It does not cut off the bottom. So you can make the bottom as long as you want. It can be like on a flip card, you know. I think that would be really cool. Or you could even put it onto like a loaded envelope or something where this piece is longer. And then this piece could be on a piece of paper or just like that as a little pocket. As a pocket, probably it's going to get stuck here. But if you put something underneath, it's going to look really cool. Maybe like white glittery paper is snow or something. I think that would be really cool. So let me, very quick, my ATC card. You could use it for pocket letters or ATCs. Look, it's the perfect size. But you could also use it on cards before because it's longer. So let me just measure the whole length here. And it does not cut, cut off on the sides, on the bottom, right? So it's around three and a half inches. And the tallest tree, and I'm only measuring the tree because, like I said, you can make the paper as long as you want. The tallest one is two inches. I think it's a pretty good size and a pretty good price <laughs> for a dollar thirty-two. I think it's really good. It did cut out perfect. Um, I used my scraps to cut stuff out so they could be a funny color today. But hey, who cares, right? Okay, let me try and push it back in and then just go to the next one. Yeah, the next one is a funny color. I can't push it in. I want. It's a little green snowman. <laughs> and this one was, I cannot see yet. I'm going to open it up. I know, but if I open it up before I start filming, you know, then I will lose it all. And I don't want that. This one was 91 cents. And once I cut it out, I noticed that I did make a little mistake, but I think that's all right. So you have to disconnect this. I like to keep my dice as they come. You know, I don't want to lose all the tiny pieces. But this one needs to be disconnected. Otherwise, the snowman stomach is going to have a hole. So you have to imagine that this is one whole piece. Because, you know, and this too. Because there was the nose in it. But this one has like a scarf. I think it's really cute. It has a scarf and I know it has a hat right there. Oh, well, you can cut out the nose and then paper piece a different color nose. But it does have a nose as well right here, I think. And it has arms, not arms, but hands. I believe this is one of the hands. I don't know where they go. I don't know how the hands go. This hand look, looks funny. There must be another hand, but I don't see it. No, that's the one. So this hand is different. <laughs> maybe it should be holding a stick or something. And maybe it's not hands at all. It should be, right? So that would be feet. What is the big piece here? 
I don't know. I sometimes just don't know. But it also has these tiny pieces for the dots on the stomach and for the eyes. I will never cut them out. I will just draw them, you know. Those tiny pieces, cut them out and lose them. I do not want that. I'm wondering what those pieces are. Like two of them. There's two of them. What would they be? I have no clue. Sometimes I get dice and then I think it's supposed to go like that like a snowman and then there is another piece in here and I have no clue where the other piece goes so yeah something like that and you are gonna get a snowman <laughs> the snowman is going to be around two inches and a little bit and probably an inch yeah so I'm gonna figure out how to complete the snowman because I have no clue but it was 91 cents and I think I can figure it out. I just need to take this apart and try and cut them in different colors and see what happens. And I think it's going to be fine. But that was my snowman. I know it's late, but somehow some of my stuff just came in late. And there's always like, you know, the winter is not done yet for winter crafting. But even if so, there is always another year and the next Christmas crafting and stuff like that. So it's good to have something. something. And I liked it because that was small enough for a pocket letter card. I do have different ones, but they are bigger. Okay, let's just move on real quick here. The next one is just this. And I did not take it out. It was 91 cents. So this part will cut into your paper if you don't use it together those are two different pieces and let me just take it out here so those are two different parts but I did not take it out can you see there is a cutting piece and there is a cutting piece but this middle piece does not have a cutting blade so if you would only use this middle piece right here it will cut into your paper. It won't cut anything out, which I thought was cool. And for dice like this, I use my brush that a friend of mine sent to me. And then if you do that, everything comes out. Can you see that? And same for the dice. If they are dirty, so, you know, if stuff didn't come out there, then you use the brush and things are coming out. It's so easy. <laughs> she made my life so much easier. Thank you again. I show it a lot of times. I will also link it down below in the description. It's only $8 or something, but it makes your life easier. So this part, the outer part, it's pretty cool because you could make shakers. You have your outer part for shakers. I love that. But I also like that I can cut into the paper somewhere. We don't have many um, punches or dies or anything that cuts into the paper so that's why I thought it's really cool to have one where you can put it anywhere you want and you just cut into it and it's really really cool in my opinion and this one is uh one and three quarters of an inch so that's the big one and the small one is one and a quarter maybe a tiny bit more than that so it's a pretty cool size I feel like you can also make tags and then, you know, just cut three of them in there or something like that. I think that would be really, really cool. Okay, let's put this one aside and just show you the next one. And the next one is not a crafting product, but since I started to share with you everything or a lot of things, I thought maybe I can share this one with you. I ordered this for my kitchen and I'm really in need of um, some kitchen cloth. And I want to buy them that they look alike, but I only ordered one. It was 97 cents. It says it's microfiber. I'm not quite sure. It does feel funny. So I'm going to try it out and then, you know, let you know if I, if I didn't like it, I will tell you. But if I do like it, I'm so going to order a pack. So I have like, I don't know, maybe like 10 of the same one you know, for my kitchen, so they all look alike. I did like the center side too. Look, it's like gray and mint, and I thought it was perfect. So I could have some in my kitchen and they all look alike. This one is pretty big, so it's good enough for me for the kitchen. It's 10 by six inches, and I love it. It feels good, so I'm just going to try it out. If I hate it, 
I'm going to tell you. But if you see me next time holding nine more of those, then I really did love it. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's everything I got today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And, you know, leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite from today? Probably not that. <laughs> But um, I think my favorite are the trees because I can use them either one tree or three or, you know, they are all different. So I could actually pick some and use them. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Even if it's just a little smiley, it makes me smile and I appreciate it a lot and enjoy your day. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.